Gilbert, here is that video. Those are officers from LMPD and Jefferson Town Police back in September. But that man oh. thrown down there says this response is way too much. <laughs> that was Frank Serapelia back in September being dragged out of his home in East Louisville by several police officers. Police responded to the home because his wife called 911 and said she had been shot in the head. <laughs> All right, gang, it is Fantastic Friday. That's right, it's arrived, and uh, you're going to love this editorial. Now, I'm sorry I couldn't get a Friday the 13th editorial for you. Uh, that would have been nice to have a Friday the 13th one. But this one is about as scary as it gets. This is another one where dispatch takes a call and the police rush out to judgment and torture an innocent old man, 71-year-old man. Now, I know the bootlickers are going to come forth and say, well, they got a call of this and that, and they didn't know. They just went and did their job. Dispatch got it wrong. If dispatch gets it wrong, shouldn't the police officers know that more than us? Because we as cop watchers already know that dispatch gets it wrong. Dispatchers are just, you know, and I'm sorry, anybody that likes police dispatchers, and I'm not, again, I'm not making a blanket statement. Because every profession has that good employee, that one that's good at what they do. It's their niche, of course. But there are so many that don't know what the fuck they're doing and they get the information all screwed up. Shouldn't the cops know that? Shouldn't they know that? <sighs> Fucking dispatch. No. Because they'd rather go out and go, I'm a cop, watch this. <laughs> you know, and push people down and handcuff people and go, did my job, here I come to save the day. And that's what they did in this one, and they were wrong. <sighs> so if you think you're free in America and safe in your home, you're only as safe and free as the law enforcement officers of this country allow you to be. That's it. Coming to us from WDRB. Thank you, WDRB.com. Out of Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville again. Frank Serapiglia says he was in the kitchen drinking coffee and reading the news early one morning last September when he heard yelling and noticed several police officers outside his home with guns drawn. Serapiglia, 71 years old, thought officers must be pursuing a suspect running through his neighborhood. Then he heard banging on his front door. As Sarah Piglia was opening the door in his bathrobe, a police officer reached in the house, grabbed him, and threw him to the pavement where he landed face first, according to police body cam video that captured the incident. The video shows part of the body camera footage captured by officers. It shows two different angles of Sarah Piglia being dragged out of his home. You hear an officer yelled, get on the effing ground, as another officer handcuffed him and kneeled on Sarah Piglia's back. You blanking bleep, what the heck are you doing, Sarah Piglia said to the officers. Please, I can't breathe. What the hell did I do? After the incident, Louisville Metro Police Officer David Stetler told Sergeant Jerome Passafume. <laughs> There's a name for a cop, Passafume. <laughs> that Sarah Piglia was non-compliant and wouldn't step outside. He didn't know what the hell was going on. He was like, what, what, what? 71-year-old man. You think maybe he's got some things going on upstairs? When Officer William Klein grabbed Sarah Pigla, he lost his footing and fell to the ground, Stetler said, according to body camera video. Klein confirmed that account to the sergeant. Klein said, according to body cam video, as Dave said, he wouldn't come out, wouldn't get on the ground. We pulled him out and he lost his footing and he fell. The body camera video challenges the official police narrative of the events of last September, raising questions that are now part of a lawsuit filed in Jefferson Circuit Court on March 5th. 
For example, Klein says Sarah Pigley opened the door but wouldn't come out, but the video shows Klein immediately reaching into the house and hurling the old man to the ground outside. Take these bleeping handcuffs off me. You don't think I'm a bleaking problem. I opened the door for you, Sarah Piglia yelled. Police responding to a 911 call made by Sarah Piglia's wife while he was downstairs. The woman had called 911 in a delusional state, claiming her husband had shot her in the head, according to the lawsuit filed last week, against Louisville Metro Police Officers, the Jefferson Town Police Department, and the city. Sarah Piglia repeatedly asked, what did she call the police for? There's no freaking problem. What the heck is the deal? According to body cam footage, as Mrs. Sarah Piglia is brought downstairs and outside disheveled but not hurt, an officer reported to dispatch that there was no shooting. A Jefferson Town officer says, according to body cam, we're out and another laughs. When police don't respond to his question, Sarah Piglia asks, why his wife asked his wife why she called 911 i thought you shot me she says what sarah piglia yells what sarah piglia explains to police that his wife had been previously hospitalized has had seizures and mental health issues after several minutes an unidentified officer comes up and asks why sarah piglia is still handcuffed on the ground the officer asks what's going on Officer Stetler responds that Sarah Piglia is still pissed, according to his body cam video. Meanwhile, Sergeant, oh, I'm sorry, Sergeant Passafume and Sarah Piglia are arguing about how police handled the incident. The sergeant asks him, what do you think we're going to do? Say, hey, good morning. Did you shoot your wife in the head? Sarah Piglia yells back. The police could see he was in his bathroom and not a threat. He said, you could see I had nothing in my effing hands a louisville metro police department spokesman said the department does not comment on pending litigation of course they don't he was taken to norton brownsboro hospital emergency room with multiple injuries including head trauma according to the lawsuit attorney thomas clay who is representing sarah piglia said the police should have known immediately that the woman was not in danger she called 911 in a delusional state and calmly but vaguely reported that she had been shot in the head but didn't know if she was bleeding, the suit claims. She did not sound like she was in any distress or in any pain or seem afraid. Jefferson Town Police, who responded first, according to the lawsuit, saw Sarah Piglia's wife at the window in her bedroom and should have known at that point she had not been shot. But Jefferson Town Police have not turned over any body cam video, of course not, or other documents related to the incident, claiming they would not have responded to the call, according to the lawsuit. Assistant Chief of Jefferson Town Police Steve Schmidt declined to comment on the case, but did acknowledge that Jefferson Town officers did respond to the scene. As Officer Klein's body cam video comes to an end, Sarah Piglia is on his knees trying to crawl up his porch, not allowing anyone to touch him. He looks back and tells them, thank you guys for fucking protecting me. You know, there are so many things that went wrong in this one. So many things. And you know what? I'm not even going to allow any of you cop supporters to give the cops kudos or thumbs up on this one. They did everything wrong. Okay, I get that they're going out to a call of a woman who called in and said, my husband shot me in the head. I get that. You know what? You know what? The first thought is, oh, shit. But it says here they pulled up. She's looking out the window. They should have been like, is that his wife? Okay, hold on. They're out there with guns and stuff. They bang on his door. He opens the doors like, hey, what's going on? Before he can, anything can happen, they pull him out and slam him on the ground. How do they even know that's the husband? For all they know, that could have been the father of the husband that shot the woman. Or that could have been the brother of the guy who shot the woman. Or that could have been the uncle of the guy who shot the woman. They don't even know who this is opening the door. I'm just saying. Then they laugh at him. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we're out of here <laughs> look at the old man you watch this video and oh, Jesus Christ you guys need to watch the videos in the link below 
The cop tells the other cop, well, we tried to pull him out of the house and he lost his footing. But you literally see on the body cam them pull him out of the house, slam him on the ground. But he lost his foot. Yeah, he lost his footing when you slammed him on the fucking ground face first. These cops need to be in prison. But they're not. They're going to get suspended. Slap on the hand. The, law, the Louisville Metro Police Chief needs to be fired. Okay, uh, you guys need to watch the video in the description box below. The links, I mean. Well, you have to click the story. There are three different or two or three different videos in down there. It's different body camera angles. It's disturbing. I'm just going to tell you that right now. This is why I record the police. Not one of you law enforcement officers that may see this video right here, this editorial, can tell me not to record you in the courses of your duty. Or the course of your duties. I'm livid right now. I'm going to record the police, as Charlton Heston would say, until you remove my cold, dead hands from the camera. I'm going to record you guys for the remainder of my days because of cops like that. I'm livid. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below if you've seen this video. If you haven't, you need to watch these videos. I'm going to put a link to the story in the description box below. The videos are in that story. I'm not acting right now. I'm livid. My heart beat went, my heart rate went straight up into my throat when I saw that old man slammed. And then to hear the cop explaining on body camera, well, he wouldn't come out. We tried to pull him out and he lost his footing. These cops think we're fucking idiots. We're watching the whole event, and then he lies about it. Like, we're idiots. I guess he did lose his footing. Look how he fell. No, you, when your arm goes like that, and the old man slams into the bricks, that's not called losing your footing. That's called you pulled him out and slammed him into the fucking ground. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast. Uh, this one's got me livid. I want to know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. This ends the week, but not my editorials. I'm going to keep them coming because I'm going to get every single cop that's out there screwing up like this on video.